when COVID first emerged, I made a video. You can look it up. And I said, look, if you've got an underlying health condition or you're elderly, you should wear an N95 mask when you go out. You shouldn't be forced to stay in your house. You shouldn't be locked down, but you should wear an N95 mask, sure. But if you're healthy, especially if you're young, not only should you not wear an N95 mask, you shouldn't wear a mask at all. Why? Because then we get herd immunity, we get this thing over with right away within a month or two, and we move on. What's happened? Well, social distancing, masking, all this silliness. Now we've dragged this out, and now we've got a vaccine that's just targeting mRNA. The problem with that is now we're creating new variants. Why do I say we're, cr we're creating? Well, it's because the vaccine is against the spike protein. That's it. It's an mRNA. It makes your, your body produce spike protein. You make antibodies just to the spike protein. But it's not only that. It's a specific version of the spike protein that they're injecting into you via the mRNA. And you can have dozens of different variants and versions, maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands. You can definitely have different versions of proteins. And viruses are constantly making different versions. They're constantly mutating different versions. So if you inject an mRNA that gives you antibodies to a very specific version of mRNA, a spike protein. Well, then the virus mutates around it and now you've got a new variant. And then you do more boosters, more injections. And by the way, there's risks with more multiplying injections. There's risks with multiplying jabs because your body can develop antibodies to the polyethylene glycol. It's called PEG which is in these vaccines. You can develop antibodies in a more severe reaction to these things over time. So there's never a free lunch. I've always said that in these things. Um, you're better off increasing vitamin D, exercising, staying healthy, um, losing weight if you're overweight, things like that. The basics, being healthy, uh, encouraging your immune system health in different ways that are very well known, very well established, uh, very cheap, basically free, eat healthy, exercise, get out in the sun. But, you know, just realize natural immunity is better than jab immunity. Because natural immunity has a whole alphabet of antibodies. It's not just the letter S. It's not just the spike protein. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. It's all those antibodies. So when you get COVID, even if the spike protein mutates, which it does, it's constantly mutating. Well, when you've had natural immunity, when you've gotten infected and you've gotten over it and you've developed antibodies, you have diverse antibodies to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, G, L, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And sure, if the S mutated, you still have other antibodies in the alphabet, you see? But with just the spike protein vaccine, you've got this antibody. It's very specific. It's very precise. The virus mutates around it. Boom, now we've got another variant. Boom, now we've got another variant. On and on and on. Social distancing, masks, fear mongering, lockdowns, power mongering. So it, it's a never-ending cycle. So re really what we need to do here is to, sure, keep, keep pursuing jabs, keep pursuing new technologies. But at the end of the day, if people want to develop herd immunity, let them develop herd immunity. Stop discouraging people from developing herd immunity, especially kids. And this masking nonsense with children is very psychologically damaging. The studies will be coming out in the next five years. It's terrible for them. The, the glass, the social distancing in schools, all this nonsense, complete nonsense. Super unfortunate that we've gotten this far and we've not done anything about this. So at least arm yourself with this knowledge. Natural immunity is the way to go. If you've gotten the jab, realize you can still, you can still have issues. You're, you know, you're still potentially getting new variants all the time that are cr being created and spread around. Um, but, you know, again, at least allow people the freedom of choice, because I think the more we kind of, as a, as a society, as a group, we just accept this virus and move on, move forward, um, 
and protect elderly, protect vulnerable, protect people that are, uh, you know, in medical situations that are uh, vulnerable. Then we move on. We, we get our herd immunity and we move forward.